we're gonna look at some past pro- processes of uh, some music making uh, that was done by one of my protégés. So we're gonna try that. We'll see how that works today. Sir. So, first thing we're ready to do right now is we're ready to lock in uh, our FL studio sessions and we're gonna review a few more beats that's over there on the, on there. So let's get that going right now. Right after this track, we're gonna play that and let's get it. Yes, sir. Just because it's Saturday don't mean the grind stops, just so y'all know. Yes, sir. Alright. 
so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to go look in uh, inside one of our folders in our folder and see if I can find these beats which I know I can all right there it is all right so now we're in the folder So that one didn't work. Let's see what this do. OT beat. We're going to play with it. Let's see what we get. Like every time I come to a beat, there's nothing in the file, so I don't understand that. This time, what we're looking at here, I want you guys to see it. Um, so what I'm looking at here, as uh, I'm trying to decipher what I'm gonna do with this beat, I don't have anything over here in the track. So in the playlist or arrangement of powder one, I have nothing. So I'd have to break it down. It's gonna char It's gonna cost you extra coming from an engineer point of view and perspective I'm gonna charge you for that believe that that shit takes a lot of time when you could just do it and have it sent out it don't make sense see that that right there all of those need to be separated Cool, cool. So that, that handles that one. I'm just saying.
All right, so now when we got that one up and running, we're good. So that makes some sense. Make sure y'all people are getting uh, your stuff right. When I say that, I mean that because it's literally, it's weird. I don't know, it's just weird. This one don't even have none to it. This is a file that needs to be deleted. Shouldn't even be here. It's taking up space. It's extra. We ain't even great play with that. The name of this one's called Always My Downfall. Probably is. <laughs> Not to be a butter nut, I'm just saying. We go again. Purity seems to be your your go to. Intro needed to start slow. It's really, really, really too mellow of a beat. What am I gonna say? <laughs> too mellow of a beat, but the beat is just slow. I guarantee if you speed some of these tracks up, you'd have some, some heat, but they're just way too slow. Why am I recording? Why am I making beats at 125 BPM? They're too slow. Way too slow. I don't have albino, I don't have nexus, I can't check none of these. So that's uh, not a plus. But we'll find a way. Let's get it right. We'll see. Name of the name of this one is called Atomic. So we'll just fuck with that one later.
There I go missing uh, my plugin, so I can't do nothing with it. What's supposed to do with that? Listen to that, that's kind of smooth. Aesthetic, what up, man? There it is, man. Old timer, what's up? Ooh. All right, we got to get. I'm glad you came in here. I'm glad you're up. What you doing up so early, old timer beats? <laughs> old timers. Good morning, both of y'all. Appreciate you, aesthetic sound waves. What's happening, man? Salute to you. What up, old timers? Salute you for hanging out. All right, pay attention. Definitely pay attention. All right. Make sure you respond. Make sure you talk. See this? All right. You good? You. I'm glad you caught me on the live, bro, because this is the best way to get your feedback. I don't like to do a whole lot in person, but I'm there. All right. Number one, I don't have Nexus. I don't have Albino. I don't have Wave Station, and I do not have Massive. For some reason, I can't find these on the new computer. 
I know that I've had them because, as you see, you have them on this computer. But I don't have them on this one for some reason. So, listen. Everything is about sound arrangement. See that right there should have been right here. Now look. You hear that? See how alone they sound? That's what we do when we want to beef up the sound. We want to make it louder. That's what we do. See how it just sounds like one melody? It's what we want to, to as a start. Now watch how I beef it up. Now see, we take one and two and add them together in three. Now, what I would have done over here. Get it? And then we go back to our original. And then we go back into our intro, which is part of the introduction to the hook. Or you go back to this one. Really don't matter. This is the build. This is what we try to make the beat sound fuller. But what, what should have happened, because you're using these super mellow keys, you probably should put some horns in there. But I'm going to show you how to stop it. The reason we have beat block is because the beat's too slow. Again, 140 ain't enough. It needs to be tighter. Let's watch. Real quick. We're going to go to my one of my favorite kicks. So look, look at the, watch what I do with this real quick. And I ain't really ready to do much. I'm going to only my drum. drums right here hella long Watch, watch the difference. Just in the little bit that I did. <laughs> Salute, passionate purple is in stream. Yes, Yeah. 
Do that. Now watch. We're gonna play it without mine. That's okay for the R and B to wow him if we wanted to. Let's see. See, that kind of makes sense and it kind of doesn't make sense, but I get it. The build is, I can't get to Nexus, I can't get to your Purity 4, but I get it. Again, this was just a, a demo. So... Looking at what you see here, it makes sense. See how it's built? See how it shows? Do you see how it's accompanying it, the other instrument? Now see, that's perfect. Now we need one more element. See, watch this. When this beat, this is going to be a complete beat when I'm done with it. Watch. Watch the elements I'm going to throw in it right here. What we're going to do is Actually, I want the one in Purity 3. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to add Track God 2. And watch this. We're going to paste it. And then we're gonna go find the sound. Thank you. 
some reason we didn't get that one but we're working on it that's there that, this last part should have played too i bet you didn't need to be drawn out uh. you see these aren't even what we want we just want them as a placeholder for right now and now that we have them in place time to do that let's go find uh There we go. So and then we can go out with the two. But it's out of key. We know it's out of key. But the point is, hear that? Are you understanding what I'm saying now? It needs to be fuller. Now, what I'm trying to show you is that when you first start the beat, This is a very boring intro, but when we add elements, we bring it to life. That's all. So. See? Now we add. Now we add some elements. Looking at this, this is what we're working with. And this is what I mean when I say we have to add elements. One. Then we have two. Now we have three. Here we should have four. And then over here we have like six. Five or six, something like that. It depends, you know. You got to make them all work. Got that? See it? Makes a difference. Let's see, we want to, that's what I mean when I say accompanying sound. You like that sound because it accompanies the other instrument. The accompaniment is everything. If you're making melodies, if you can't accompany a melody, Now we're back to these three. Three. One, two, three. Look. And then we want to bring it back in again. It's still too slow, honestly. Now watch. All by itself. And that's just the start of what you can do because you can do a whole lot. So looking at that, I'm just saying there's a lot you can do with the beat. 
Introduce it over here is because this is going to be the int or the what is it? Uh, this is the transition. Right there should have been a crash. <laughs> You know, it's an intro, like, it's supposed to be big. What up, Thanatos? What's happening with it? Are you understand what I'm saying, OTB, old timer? You can see how I've been at. Been a minute. How you been? How is everybody doing today? Good Saturday morning, Sunday morning, Thursday, whatever day it is to you. Good morning to you. How are you feeling today? Yes, sir. All of yous. All of yous. How y'all doing? <laughs> If I was to try to say hello and good morning to everyone who popped in here, I would never finish. Okay, I'm lying. I only get like five people. It would only take me seven seconds to say it. <laughs> nah, I'm just lazy. I don't feel like it. There you go. You got the truth. I don't want to say hello to each and every individual. So I say it in batches. Hello, everyone. Now you can kind of see where and how I'm using the loop. Oh man. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing that you have Fridays every day. <laughs> Who the fuck don't want a Friday? Every day to be a Friday. That means, well, it depends. This is the first or the second Friday because that kind of sucks. The first Friday we never get or is it the second Friday? I never get paid on the second Friday. I don't want it to ever be second Friday. Never. That sucked to be second Friday every day. You would never get paid. Fish Friday. Yes. I'm an avid fish eater. <laughs> so Thanatos, what you got for me? You got some new beats? You got something that uh, we'd like to hear or review? Let us know. <laughs> this is not a podcast, podcast radio. I'm your host, DJ Letter. Get the strap. Welcome again. My haircut. <laughs> you like my haircut? Is that what you're saying? Or the music that's playing, the cut that's playing? <laughs> oh, my hair, bruh, my hair is, I just cut it yesterday. My hair is like hella long. I just don't have it out right now. It's, it's, it's rolled up in a bun. <laughs> Appreciate that, though.
Oh yeah, we all doing pretty good, man. I'm pretty sure. I think I saw Passionately Purple jump online earlier this week somehow. In <laughs> between that work schedule. And aesthetic just hides in a hole and creates. Hey, don't forget to title your track with two with at least two names. That way if you submit it, it will be remembered. What I'm trying to tell you is there's 1,000 single word tracks out there. So what I'm just mentioning is at least you could do is name your song with two words. For example, the name of this is called Chanel. Chanel has a whole bunch of products. Now imagine if we tried to pitch this song to Chanel. It's too broad. You could have put Chanel handbag, Chanel belt, Chanel glasses, Chanel buffs, anything. They would have remembered that. I remember this dude put one that says Chanel bag. And imagine that supervisor having a relationship with somebody over at Chanel. Your song would be picked first. Did you catch that? Did you catch that old timer? Oh, that sucks. Well, that depends. How was the relationship? Was it a good relationship or was it a bad relationship? <laughs> That's all I can say is if it was a bad relationship, boo to that name. And if it was a good relationship, yay, kudos. I've never dated a Chanel at all. I dated a girl named Channel. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> experience with a girl named Chanel. I probably never ever talk talk with one again. Also, if you're going to make the track, now we're going to go back to the original because I think the name the, the the tempo on this was 140. I believe you had 140 on. It. I'm going to show you the difference. That makes sense. <laughs> that high. That's funny. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I can be the judge of that. I can help be the judge of that. I can't say I'm going to be the judge, but it's completely up to them. Let's send it in. Exclamation Discord is right there for you. <laughs> Let me go on and open up the Discord server for you. Take your time. I should be on in 30 minutes. I've only been on 47. I only plan to do a two hour stream today. I gotta go do some real world work. So I might be able to get done about 10. I can do, um, maybe I'll stay on for three. You never know. All right, we're gonna move on to the next one. This is, uh, again, just me uh, running through some stuff.
Make sure you send it in and put it over in the Beats Feedback Review. That makes sense now. Yeah, I'm familiar with them. Aesthetic sound waves is on Uranus. No, Saturn. Saturn. Uranus. <laughs> no one wants to make. No one wants to throw somebody on Uranus. move on to the next one this one's called chef chef white boy beats i just learned This one's a loop. Did you make this one? Timers, did you make this this loop? So what we're looking at at this one is, this one's just nothing. So in this one, you're gonna need a bunch of elements. Eight oh eight out of key. Thank you. 
Number one, if this is an R&B track, there's no need for all of that stuff in the background. That's a waste. It takes away from the rapper and or the artist, period. It's too much. That's, that's way too much. Just listen to that for a moment. Chats art for R and B. things I'm looking here is you need a company melodies here. It's only one. The 808s need to be rearranged. Um, add some more elements such as bells, brass, horns, woodwind, instruments, flutes, anything. Yes, they are out of key. That's exactly what I'm doing. 808s need to be put in key and chants are not for R&B tracks, period. You gotta understand the R&B track is made for the vocals to stand out. Why would you put trap elements? Trap and R&B don't work unless you're making a trap R&B collaboration. This is not that type of beat. First off, it's too slow. Again, the melodies are all too slow for what we're doing. But if you're genre specific, you can do that. Once you learn how to get the melody down, then you can speed the tempo up and slow it down. You're definitely right, Thanatos. Yes, the 808s are out of key. Um, only ad libs and track vocals work for R&B tracks. All those other elements aren't going to work, period. Um, trap elements are are used, are not used in too many other genres unless you know how and where to use them. And that's what we're talking about. It's definitely with this track, and I hope that makes sense. If I'm making a boom bap track, why would I put a trap chant in there? It just doesn't make sense. If I'm making a baby making song, a little slow jam, love sick, whatever it is, why would I put trap claps in there? <laughs> I mean, if I'm making a pop song, I can probably use all of those elements. I can use hip hop, I can use trap, because it's a pop track. Pop covers every genre. But that's the only place you can put almost every genre you want, honestly, except boom bap. You could even do it in boom bap. But I want you to hear this so you understand that you're being trained by the ear as well. So I hope you got some headphones on, because if you got headphones on, you'll definitely be able to hear what I'm talking about. If you're just on a speaker and it's not a studio speaker or something, you're going to need to hear it. But yeah, that's exactly the, the key elements of the point of what I'm listening for and hearing. So I hope that makes sense to you. Is 
that make sense, old timers? What up? Yes, sir. These are these are FLPs from my people. That's correct. I have been teaching um, a little bit of a lot bit of FL um, to a user, and I've been uh, teaching them how to make melodies and different things like that. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm going through the actual FLP files to show them what's going on and what's not going on. That's exactly what I'm doing, Thanatos. That's the reason I do it. I want people to see exactly what I'm doing with what they've submitted so I can pick and choose what's going on. And the way that they get to take it and review it is to check it on live and if they need to go back on the live they can go back and review it on the live that way they always have a a recorded version of what they've done and what I'm doing so they can go and fix their own stuff now the problem here is there's only one pattern I can see that already And when I say that, there's only one pattern in purity. I remember this one. <laughs> See, this is good for a loop. It's the only reason you can use it. You can make this and just keep looping it. You can do that. That's about all this beat is good for. seeing here the name of this one is children this only has one melody now the one melody that you have is the problem now the, the one melody needs to be uh, accompanied with more than one beat this is not enough or one more than one melody this one melody isn't going to do us any good so since this is a rose, we need to up the game, okay? I love those keys. Keys are dope. So, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna add Go and use him. We'll use him. I've already done this. 
Y'all are tripping. Now let's see if I can get into That is not the one. <laughs> All right, let's find my octane. Let's go and play with. I want octane too. I thought I had it in here. I don't see it. Where did it go? There it is. Let's go into octane too and knock something out. Since we're uh, working with the key. And I know that that is yes, sir. Now let's see what we get out of this one. You hear that? Did you hear that? All the time. Did you hear that? Look how I just changed up the whole ear of your thinking. See, that's what we're talking about. See, this is how the beat should have been. I'm going to do something real simple with the beat. Now what? I'm ready to have some fun with the beat. We're going to make this bad boy unique. Um, Crazy, ain't it? That you can just take it and change it up like that out of nowhere. Ain't that some shit? Listen to that, man. All this is called progression, man. It's progressively changing. And as a keyboard, keyboardist, keyboard player, all of that, the beauty is you have the option to change everything. See what I'm saying? 
Hey. That's the correct way to do A if you're going to do it. All I did is one change up. So now I'm starting to use VSTs and do other things, so. It's crazy. You see the difference now? do that <laughs> that's crazy right you heard that right <laughs> I had no idea right that's exactly it You don't know how to finish the beat? Well, actually, if you do use rage music, which we also call it be uh, boost music, um, you have to change the drums up dramatically. And either you have to double time the melody or half time it. That's what you do. This one's short, a couple of melodies. Old timers, this one's short, a couple of melodies, but it's doing its thing. Yes, sir, we are.
play it for us. And uh, we'll play it. Send the beat in and let's check it. That's about all I can tell you. But yeah. I could probably turn this one into a rage, rage track. Matter of fact, let's do it.
see what I did there, old T, old timers? You see that? Look where we went from and look where we're at. You hear that, old timers? And see, we're still short a couple melodies. We need a whole other melody that accompanies this. following this old timer follow me Still there all the time, so I'm just wondering. Listen to how fat that gets. You hear all those elements that accompany each other? And we change up a little bit right there. On purpose. That's what we want. We want to come in a little different. We want to go out a little different. It's just what we want. 
want to make sure those kicks are everlasting, you know? Do your thing, man. Yes, sir. That's why we have mobile devices and headphones. No reason you shouldn't be able to get this. You can go to the store and still learn live. Delete that. See you when you get back. Peace.
See if they're leaving this on the live. Welcome, welcome. What up, what up? Nobody bug. It's bad enough. I have a bad time, hard time eating coochie. So I'm a damn sure ain't gonna eat no bug. I'm very selective at eating that. A damn sure ain't gonna eat no insect. Cicadas ain't nothing new. Um, what's funny is that uh, those are cicadas are um, locusts. And they're a great source of fiber, but still, nobody care about what fitness experts are saying. They're just now jumping on it. Cicadas are high in protein. And the fact that they're high in protein is what they're saying, is why they're saying eat them. But they've always been high in protein. And eating cicadas is not anything new. It's just new to American people. They've been doing this overseas for decades. That ain't nothing new. They pull the wings off of them, cut the heads off, and eat the whole thing. It's just, it's a great, great form of uh, protein. The, the good proteins you need, you know, and good carbs. Americans are bandwagon jumpers. That's what you say, not fitness experts. Americans. They've been eating those chocolate covered cicadas over in India and other places as a delicacy for in 25 years, man. Because it's not anything you eat. That's what I'm saying. People are trying to just, man, it's just stupid. Anyway, we have uh, rodents that eat cicadas, such as spiders and everything else. Yeah, you lose that weight. Well, it's not going to make you want to eat. So you're probably going to throw up, become bulimic. <laughs> All that shit. So who cares? I'm not going to eat no fuck. Don't remember.
right it is a three-day weekend jeez i guess i do too much i don't even be remembering what holiday is coming up producer day national producer day What I hear in this one now that I'm, you know, I can get in it.
Are you watching what I'm doing to this old timer? Appreciate the lurk. This is what I say when I talk about arrangements. Now, this one I can use. Now, the reason I see this is because you see how I have these elements? I'm going to show you the arrangement. Thank you. 
Are you listening? Old timers, are you listening to what I'm doing? It's called formatting. I'm formatting the beat. I haven't switched anything up. I'm formatting the beat. The format, you're putting it in, you have it set up in a way that is unreadable. The artist can't read it. Are you understanding? I'm not switching it up. It's still your stuff. It's being arranged. It's being formatted. I haven't changed. I haven't switched anything. Everything that you played is still in order. So what have I switched up? I haven't switched anything up. That's what I'm saying. It needs to be formatted. All I'm in it doing is introducing you to a format. Just for beats. Dot. Is that how old format? This is new format. This is, well, again, it depends on what you're doing. Where are you trying to get your beats to go? It depends on how you're formatting. This is the current format. Old, all format. I can't say all because there are different artists that want them arranged differently, but a general format for what you need is to be able to attract the ear. And what you had is not what I have. And I guarantee you they'll listen to this one over yours because of the format with no drums. We don't even need to add drums.
the old timer what happens is this this is a general format for all music to be laid out appealing to the ear for the listener once you understand this format which is the general format of the arrangement of all instrumentals then you can deviate and start doing the other types of I guess um, the other type of uh, instrumentation and variations and offbeat beats and stuff like that. But in order to, to get there, you have to understand the basics. If you don't know how to do the basics, you can't get into all of the intricacies of the beat. So it's just one of those things. You have to learn the basics. Well, that's the thing. Uh, some of the people that are doing that, they've learned this format. And again, there's different formats for different artists, but there's a general format to at least start out with to get you going. And they've learned that, and some people like that. If you can create a sound that does that, that's fine. But regardless, you need an intro, you need a chorus, you need a verse, you need a hook, then you need verse two. It's all the same. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's one of those things. And what works for others may not work for you that's the biggest key just because they're doing it on youtube it it looks like they're getting plays and doing this those plays don't mean nothing if they're not selling ask them to show you ask them to show you their uh, paypal statements and their their statements you can do this it looks good some people are on it some people aren't it works both ways but you got to be a part of that wave if you're going to get it to work as well I'm just saying, you know, I'm not saying everything's dead, but you have options. And again, YouTube University versus what you're going to do in the real world. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's one of those things. Everything... <laughs> Everything I learned off of YouTube was not right. Just because it was up there, just because it had 10,000, even a million fucking views, doesn't mean it was right. It just means it got a lot of looks. A lot of look at. You know, a lot of people looked at it. That's all. It's part of what we do. It's one of them things as a producer that we're going to go through. But yes, if uh, someone told me they wanted to beat with a four bar intro and then a 32 bar verse, I would do it with a doubt, without a doubt. I had no problem with that. I get it. 
but you're also doing type beats. <laughs> you're doing a specific producer's type of beat. It sounds like the fact that you're looking at someone else's format that they probably created that kind of works for them because of the sound that they're using. It's not bad, but that's what works for them. Everything that works for them don't work for me. But I get it. I definitely get it. And just to, just because you're emulating someone else's doesn't mean it's right. You know, it might sound good on the screen, but their format could be completely wrong. But also, the game is changing, so people are accepting these whack-ass beats that's off and don't sound good on purpose. But I guess that's what people want now. Even if you use certain sounds, some sounds still need to be mixed and made and mastered, stuff like that, engineered. Just because you use their sounds doesn't mean it's right, again. You know what I mean? So, and I'm not always right. That's the first thing I put out there. I am wrong. I've been wrong. I'm not wrong now, but everything I push out can be researched. And again, the reason that all these producers are out there, they're getting specific types of placements. Put it like this. I got beats out there that were not formatted correctly that were placed, but they're not making no money. Sorry, it's just not. I don't, I don't know why. Because it's in the wrong format, that's why. I know exactly why my beats aren't selling. Straight up. And even their sounds are mixed and mastered before they go. definitely get it. I understand everything you're saying. Yep. Because you don't know the format. And the beats I showed you when I first started in, in 2003 or 2005, every producer goes through it. You understood the difference, but I had, again, I already knew the format because I already wrote for film and TV and a few artists. Every single producer is going to go through it if they're not taught how to go. And then you're just going to go through a world of, I'm going to try, I'm going to try. And that's just a whole waste of time. But definitely, if you want to try, please do try. And don't waste somebody else's time.
What's so crazy about this is all producers go through it at one point or another because we don't have any idea. And the reason I went through it is because I didn't have anyone teach me the format. And because I knew the format in the very beginning for a specific part of what I was doing that it worked. So it was crazy that I had to figure out the format on my own to be able to now get placements. But also back then, the videos were of quality and of other things at that time and that nature and time era to where you actually could get quality information because it wasn't just a whole bunch of people out there throwing information out there just to get a follow. At one point, quality information used to rule the internet and then people just saw they could throw some stupid stuff up there and get get a bunch of views and they saturated it whether it was good stuff or not so when i say the good stuff i'm talking about valid information that you actually could use as a person that stood the test of time just having the quality of stuff you know And that's the thing. Just that simple fact right there. All producers go through it unless they have direction. I just want to keep letting you know that. Producers trying to do things on their own, go through it.
Er. Can you kind of see what I was talking about now? We've uh, what we've done is we've changed it up big time. Not really changed it up, but we've added and rearranged the arrangement. Change up. A change up is a change in a pattern or a melody or something. I haven't done that at all. So all I've done is That's four parts right there. Again, here's an arrangement issue that you're having that I'm going through. So I got to do the arrangements again. So there's the arrangement. What I'm seeing here again, we need another element. It's almost enough. Uh, what we're looking at, I think you definitely got to uh, plug in the next part.
So I hope that makes sense when I'm telling you about the melodies, because you got to build the melodies and make them hard. Hard as in they got to be ready to go. I've been playing with the melodies and uh, arranging them. The biggest thing is arrangement. The biggest thing I think is arrangement when it comes to uh, melodies. Um, making the melodies isn't that hard, but arranging a melody can be a little uh, trying. I can tell you that for a fact. So I think once you can understand and get the arrangements where they need to be in order and get all the elements. So again, once you get your melodies down and you have all of the parts, the essential parts that you're going to need to make a melody, you should be 100. So we kind of want to stress that part. As long as you have the most, uh, the, the correct elements, you'll be able to make it. Because all we have is an uh, intro, a verse, and maybe a hook. There's a bridge and a chorus, so there's two more elements we're going to need. You're going to need a bass, you're going to need some strings, or you're going to need uh, horns. You don't necessarily need those instruments, but you need some sections that will do that. And if that's the case, you might as well just keep producing like you're going to produce and just make beats for people and see how far that gets you. Now, I speak this to anyone and myself, which is why I didn't go in there trying to make beats for people. But you definitely don't, and I'm not telling you, don't hesitate to try that lane um, because it could work out for you. It could work out for whoever tries it, you know, it's, it wasn't my lane. Old timers, let me rephrase that. 
all producers do not go through that. Most producers do. I didn't because, again, I didn't go into the traditional, I want to make beats for rappers. So let me, I had to think about that question. And now that I thought about it, nah. But most do. I didn't. I was a little different. I had to think about it for a minute. I went straight into having someone teach me how to format my beats and all this stuff and arrange. Once I learned the format and I got my placements, I seeked help. But I didn't go through it because I didn't want to produce. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Let's just say that. So me knowing what I wanted to do in the field of I want to make production, I want to produce, I did. And I film, and I did it for film and TV, and I started out with a specific format, and it hasn't failed me yet, so it's really no, no need to lose on that now. wave station I don't have. I think that's another VST I don't have. Yeah. And I don't know why I don't. <sighs> I should have it. All right, people, I got 15 minutes left. I'm going to get out of here in three hours. <laughs> that was crazy. You know, one of my old school, old school film and TV beats. Thank <laughs> you.